Hi, Ken Park here, and welcome in this very special video. It's first part of QA and second part, a kind of review of the two months of travel. I hope the lighting is really well because it's pretty small here. Anyway, first question it popped out a few times, but when did I start skateboarding? I did start skateboarding in. December 2K10 will be almost 8 years of skateboarding. Progress Skateboarding asks, in how many countries have I skated? Gosh, um, well obviously Luxembourg, Belgium, France, Portugal, Spain, Greece. I've done 10 tricks in Italy, literally 10 tricks before taking the boat. I've skated in the whole UK. Netherlands, in Ireland, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, uh, I think that's it. Nobody asked this one, but this is directly related to your question, progress skateboarding. Which country is the best for skateboarding? And this one is really hard. It's actually really, really hard. Um, I haven't skated in one country where it was really bad, even if, to me, the worst was probably the UK, or because Prague are really dirty, really old usually, and and not in cool areas at all most of the time. So yeah, that that England, Scotland, whatever, that they kind of sucked. Now Luxembourg is actually pretty amazing. It's actually really really amazing. Germany is really amazing too. Spain is great. But I think I have to put Denmark in third position. Which is the first? I don't really. Luxembourg and Germany are just really, really great for the person, for the type of park, for the numbers of park. And Denmark, I didn't explore that much, I explored a bit more. Not the countryside, but outside of Copenhagen, because I used to skate with a YouTuber that you are going to see that. Yeah, I skate with another skate YouTuber. It, all that you in the and then fun fact, it's already the end of the skateboarding related question. I have some other question and my friend Remy Loret Skateboarding asked, how do I get my money from the travels? This popped out a few times during the, the whole, let's say, curses on my travel. Well, I worked. <laughs> That's as easy as it is. I come from Luxembourg, if you didn't know that, and we have a very decent wedge, <laughs> very excellent wedge actually, so I had three different jobs. And if you want to get into details, the first job did brought me, I don't know, maybe I, I, I could save 2k, then I think I didn't save that much from the second job, about cameras, my computer and whatever, and then with the third job, which was my, was my longest. I was able to save around 1k per month. I worked there during 9 months and I got a bit of money from my grandparents. I got 3k. And I precise this because to me it's really important. But when I will come back, I will still have those 3k. So I will. I, 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 I have this. It was really great. I'm super thankful, but I haven't touched it. So all this travel happened only with my money now of course I've been able to save that much because I was living with my parents I didn't didn't have any rent to pay but yeah guys there's no magic I'm not any earning any pennies from YouTube so I just worked and saved and then can ask what are you going to do when your ski trip is over work wise well, first of all, this is not supposed to be a skate tube at the beginning. Yeah, I skate all the time, but this is was supposed to be YouTube tube. The idea was to be able to grow up an audience enough to at least make a little bit of money, even if it's just really tiny, but to be able to become a YouTuber because that's a dream. Guess what? Didn't work. Uh, doesn't mean I'm stopping at all. I'm, I'm going to continue, I'm going to make it different, I'm going to end up the season 2 when I come back and season 3 I've already a schmidt ton of thing planned. But what I'm going to do, it's really complicated to answer you properly because I have a ton of projects that I want to do. 
and those are related with my future incomes but what I can tell you is that in short term I'm basically only I'm going to have a very entry-level job probably a sales man, a cashier, whatever now I'm going to tell you this my my short-term goal is to have a 32 hours qualified pay job if I can have that I am happy short term wise. Skateboarding progression has 40 pillars, has multiple questions. First of all, I wanted to thank, to thank you personally because I know you are commenting on every video and you're watching everything I do. I really appreciate the support. Now, the question. I'm going to do what I want. So the, the first part is how many languages do I speak? Obviously I speak English, I speak French, I have a decent German, I have uh, Decent Luxembourger. That's basically it. What country has the best bus and train system? Oh, ha ha ha. Ah, good question. I hate public transport, so. <laughs> I have to say that again, Luxembourg has very, very good public transport. But I remember one of the clearest is Madrid. It's so freaking clear. It's so freaking obvious. It's not that expensive. At all. London is insanely good. London Air has a very, very good public transport system. Probably the best of the UK, but anyway. The last question from Skidmoon Progression at 40 is it's actually two questions, but it's food related. He is in South Korea for your job, if I understood everything. He's skateboarding, his, his channel is really cool, so if you can go check it out, well, do it because great content needs support. Now the question is, where do you pick where to eat and will you go by yourself in a sit-down restaurant? Well, I'm going to answer the second question first. I don't usually go in a sit-down restaurant by myself for two reasons. First of all, is the price. I allow myself 15 euros per day for the whole day. Like, so it's five bucks per meal and usually I, I do it myself. I, I don't really cook, sometimes I make pasta for the day, sometimes I make salad, depending on the price of the grocery and, and whatever of where I am, but usually that's the thing, I, I make myself food and I rarely go eat out. Why I don't go in a sit-down restaurant by myself is mainly because to me eating in a sit-down restaurant is something that you have to share. It's just. I don't know, I guess it's part in, in my culture, uh, but when I used to go to the restaurant, it was, it was my, my parents, rarely, but sometimes with my friends, but never alone. It's, I like the idea of sharing uh, not a meal, but a, a good time around a meal, just talking and, and just sharing a moment, and I, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing that alone and just eating even even food is great like just eating and watching the wall or the chair in front of me I just don't feel like doing that but sometimes I do take takeaway do you take takeaway can I say that anyway I take oh gosh take takeaway anyway sometimes I still eat out now just the secret the secret is don't go where tourists go like you probably will it will be probably hard to eat in the center of the city. You will probably there is sorry, but I can't talk. My ultimate advice is follow the locals. When it's for bars, coffee, shops, uh, clothes, whatever, for everything, just follow the locals. But that doesn't mean sometimes eating local. For for example, in the UK, there's a, a lot of very good Indian food. Because it's part of the culture. If you want to survive in Scandinavia, I know I'm, I'm, I'm jumping forward, but those are the countries that you will see in the part two of the season two. But in Scandinavia, you have if you want to eat out, you have to eat foreign food like um, Turkish food or Eastern Europe food or whatever, because otherwise it's just too expensive. Of course, all of that always depends of on how much money do you want to spend or do you have for this? Uh, I still want to add one question that uh, has not been asked this time but has been asked plenty of time. Why don't I vlog in French? Well, I'm going to give you a very simple answer. 
me casse pas les couilles Toutes mes vidéos sont en anglais Tu as vu que toutes mes vidéos étaient en anglais Alors juste Voilà, tu, tu me suis de cette façon All jokes apart, a lot of people ask me why I, didn't, I don't vlog in French Because I got around 150 subscribers from a collab that I did the first day actually <laughs> for the most predictive day uh, for the whole travel with Sunboy Darden and he's a French vlogger, French YouTube, French skate vlogger kind of and obviously I speak French because of what is my native language and yeah he don't speak English anyway but I guess that people misunderstood and thought that my channel was in English But the thing is, on the literally there's almost 300 videos. Like that's, that's the next goal, and there is not a single one in French. And uh, people kept still asking. So the idea was to grow up, and I think that you can only grow up to a certain point with a French-speaking channel. In this case, especially because the niche is tiny. You know, the skaters who watch vlogs, it, it's, it's very tiny. So, or I had to be really more diverse as a French channel, or I could reach way more people, which didn't happen at all, while speaking English. So the goal is it's that, it's to reach more people, <laughs> initially. I feel like this video is already pretty long, so I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to do the review, you will have it tomorrow. So. You will have three videos in a row basically, so Q&A, tomorrow reviewing travel, and after tomorrow just London part 2. Is that fair? Yes? Thank you. Anyway, you don't have the choice because it's my fucking channel. Subscribe.